In this video, we'll be using some tools. The first tool would be a weight ball. This weight ball is good for strengthening. Remember I said strengthening, you need a weight ball? Or you can use what we call a tubing band or a thorough band or elastic band. And remember what I used to tell you, two to 300 a day would keep your upper shoulders strong. Now we prefer you in this video, you have to use the harder one because this will be used for your core rotation and it'll be for your flex, flexion extension and lateral flexion, okay? Um, out of this, we'll be stretching and we'll be stretching your neck, mid back and lower back. One of the stretches will be using yoga block. We're not using this for anything else like normal. It's gonna be used for your neck. Other things that we can use for the neck, such as I'm sure you've seen this. This is called a posture pump. Use it in my office. You probably have one at home. I strongly recommend you pull them out and use them every day. Lastly, we have the big ball. This is something that I said, a ball is like a brush to your teeth. A ball is to your spine, the cheapest, easiest way to maintain your spine. Enjoy the workout. In the first part of this routine, I've invited Lin to help prepare our body, our energy, or we so-called qi in Chinese. Lynn is going to lead the initial energy routine. Lynn? Great. I've chosen three energy exercises to activate, balance, and unscramble our energy. This will prepare us for any routine workout. Let's start with the four thumbs. Use several fingers and tap on the spot. Just follow along. First one is on the cheekbone in line with the eyes. As your thumb, breathe in with the nose and breathe out with your mouth. Next, follow the collarbone to the center, go down and out one inch, and thump vigorously on this point. Whenever you feel tired, these two points called K27 are excellent points to thump. Kind of a wake up call. Next, the thymus. Thump on your thymus gland. Boost the immunity. You can use your fingers or your knuckles. Next, the spleen neurolymphatic points. Under the breast, one rib down. You can thump or massage. For most people, it would be pretty sore. Alternatively, you can stimulate spleen by thumping the spleen acupuncture point, which is on the side of the body, four inches down from the armpit. Place one foot over the other knee, opposite hand over the ankle, hand of the same side over the bottom of the foot. As you inhale through the nose, lift your spine and stretch the foot towards you. As you exhale through the mouth, relax. Repeat this five times. Change to the other foot. Repeat the process. It is important that you crossing your hand and foot. So for people with difficulty doing this exercise, there's an alternative way of doing it. You can see it in the insert. Uncross your leg, place the fingers together, thumbs above the bridge of the nose. Take three deep breaths. On the exhale, stretch the forehead toward the temple. Bring your hands together, thumb touching the center of your chest. Take three more deep breaths. Feel your connection 
with your center. Place one hand over the opposite shoulder, drag across the body to the opposite hip. Breathe in, hold the shoulder, breathe out, drag across. Breathe in, hold the shoulder, breathe out, drag across. This is the easiest way to help to cross over our energy from the right to the left and left to the right. Let's cross our energy by doing the exaggerated march. Lift one arm to touch the opposite leg. Swing your arm across the midline of the body. If you can, twist so your elbow touches the opposite knee. Continue for at least one minute. Remember to breathe. You can also march with the music. If for some reason you are unable to do this exercise, you can do the same thing sitting down. The key thing is that you are relaxed so your energy will follow the movement. Hold on to your elastic band or a cable. Pull it towards your right. I want you to breathe out as you pull. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rotate a little bit more. The key is if you could turn and touch your elbow to the floor or even your forearm. The more the better and a little bit faster but with a good rhythm. One more and stop. Now let's do the other side. Pull the cable as far as you can to the left. Breathe out, breathe in. Rotate, have your left elbow touch the floor and your shoulder turn as much as you can. Slowly increase your speed and breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Rotate your upper body, increase your speed with steadily motion, same rhythm back and forth. Let's start by pulling over your head to the left side back to the center, pull it up and over to the right, turn your body towards the right, back to the center. As you pull, I want you to breathe, breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Take your time, keep it at a very good rhythm, at your own pace, feel the ab contraction, the shoulder blades, deltoids, and your upper body. Let's do five more. Five, four, breathe, three, breathe more, two, and one. Turn all the way. Excellent. Let's start with some relaxed position. Pull it towards you, arch your back, and relax, hunch your back. I want you to breathe in and pull as hard as you can, retract your shoulders, relax and hunch back and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Slowly pick up your speed, and in, and out in and out and you can come to a stop cross your arm with the cable on the opposite side of your rotation pull as hard as you can as if you're elbowing someone next to you or behind you as you slowly pick up your speed 
You are contracting your core muscle, which is your front abdominal muscles and back muscles. Make sure your lower body is sitting on a ball or a chair with no motion, only your upper body is rotating. Please remember to breathe and turn as far as you can. And now you can come to a stop. Now switch side. Rotate to the right as far as you can. Once again, imagine you're elbowing someone behind you or next to you. Only move your upper body. Rotate as far as you can. Remember to breathe. It is important to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Slowly pick up your speed. One more. And now come to a stop. Now hold on to the cable or tubing band next to your body. Lean your body away from the band. Only your upper body is moving. As you hold on to the cable and lean to the left, you will feel your side muscles working hard. As you slowly come back and pull, it works both sides of the muscle. Increase your motion by leaning a little bit more, pulling in harder. Remember to breathe. As long as you're breathing, you'll be fine. Let's do two more. And one more. Come to a stop. Now switch side. Same thing as you lean. I want you to make sure your upper body is the only part of your body that's moving. Breathe in and breathe out. Always start slow. And slowly pick up your speed. When you lean, Make sure your elbow is close to your body, feeling the upper body of your motion on both sides of your cord a little bit faster, feeling the abdominal muscle on the side being pulled. Good. Bring the elastic cords behind your arm and raise your hand to your ear level. Reach and lean to the side, slowly side by side. The core itself will give you a resistive training to the lateral side of your core muscles. Now go ahead and rotate side to side. Make sure you're sitting straight, arch your back, and contract your core muscle only. This trains the oblique, abdominal muscles, and rotational spinal muscles. So remember to do this whenever you have a chance. Loop the band in your hand or grip it, bring it behind your head, elbows forward, shoulders down. Push slowly against the band, hold your shoulders and your elbow in place, only move your head. Do not forget to breathe. Let's count five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring it back to the center. Pull your band behind your left side of the head with your right elbow down, left elbow up. Tilt your head to the left, push against the band. I want you to push without moving your shoulders or your elbows. Breathe and push. Let's do five more. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax and bring your band back to the center. Now place the band on the right side of your head with your right elbow out and up and left elbow down and out. Push slowly, tilting your head to the right. I want you to push and breathe with a slow rhythm. Count five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring back to the center. Now use your power flex bar. The middle section is flexible. So place the middle section behind your head Push against it by holding your elbows and your arm out without moving it. 
push steadily by looking up against the bar. Now let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now let's place it on the left side of your head. Push against it. One, two, this is lateral tilt. Three, and four, and one last one. Now let's hold it to the right side of your head. Tilt to the right, push, and push. Let's do three more, and two, and one. Excellent. Now place a yoga block underneath your neck. Lift your head up as high as you can. Use the higher side of a yoga block to get the best effect. Remember to drop your shoulder so you can stretch your neck. Hold on to your yoga block towards you and you'll feel the middle of the neck all the way down to the top of the shoulder and being stretched. You can get the same effect by resting on the side of your armrest on your sofa or against a wall. Now go ahead and turn your head as far as you can to the left side. Make sure your head is still in the center, rotating on the ridge of the sofa, armrest, or yoga block. Turn to the other side, keeping your head still in the center, and rotate as far to the right as possible. Always remember to drop your shoulders. Now back to the center and bring your chin up all the way Now relax, and we're done for this routine. Now lean back and extend your neck onto the chair and your shoulder touch to the chair back. Make sure you breathe and you're fully touched. If you're too tall, scoot down a little bit so your shoulder and your head could be touched to the top part of the chair back. Breathe gently, deeply, and exhale fully all the way out. Now slowly bring your head back and lean to the right as you extend back slowly, touching the back of the chair. If you're not able to do this, please remember you're probably sitting too high on your chair. Breathe and make sure your chin is pointing upwards. That will give you extra stretch in the front neck region. Slowly come back to the center again. Lean to the left and rest onto the chair back again. Remember to take it slow. Feel the stretches in the front part of your neck and on the side part of your neck. If you don't feel anything, it's probably because you're too tense. Now come back to the center. Let's turn to the right with your chin down and bring your hand over your head. Create a little weight onto your head to stretch the left side of your neck muscles. For rotation, we always turn and look down. Now remember to breathe and your hand act as a little extra weight to pull your head down. Give it a little pull after about 10 seconds and come back to the center. Now turn to the left 
same thing, chin down. Bring your hand over your head. Relax your hand on top of your head. Pull your head down. Breathe. And remember, your shoulders should always be retract. Pull a little bit more. Breathe in and breathe out. Whenever you can pull more, give a little bit pull and feel the stretch. Now return back to the center. To start this routine, first we must find a wall, have our head and shoulder touch against the wall at all time. Let's warm up our neck by bringing our chin up all the way in the air and tuck it in. All the way out and tuck it all the way in. Double chin, that's okay. Breathe along with this exercise. Now let's start bringing it out to the left side up, back to center, right side up, back to center. One more time. Bring your chin as high as you can, feeling that stretch in the front of your neck. Now let's tilt towards the right. Keep your chin up, your nose up. We are going to hold on this position. And whenever you can, check to see if your head's touch against the wall and your shoulder is touched against the wall. Now bring it back, tilt to the left side. Make sure your nose is pointed upwards and your chin is upward. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your time. Make sure you're feeling that stretch in the front part of your skin, part of the neck. Keep holding and breathing. Stretching is one of the most boringest things that most people would not want to do, but it's the most effective stretch against the muscle tensions you carry every day. Now bring it back to center. I want you to turn as far as you can to the left and look down. When you turn, we want your chin to be down towards your shoulder. Breathe. And feel the stretch. Bring your arm up. Rest it against your head. Pull it down a little bit as you feel that you are able to do that. Release it and turn back to the center, now to the right again. Release it, now turn to the right and look down. Still make sure your head and shoulder is still touch against the wall. Bring your hand up and rest it on top of your head. Let gravity pull your hand down, head down, stretch the neck and breathe more. Slowly release your hand and turn back to the center again. Three steps to this procedure. First step, place the cervical pump in the most comfortable region of your neck. Pump until you feel comfortable, never too much, never to the point where your head is lifted off and not resting on the surface. At the place of comfort, rotate your head side to side. Release the pump and repump it again. Second step, place the pump underneath your skull at the base, not at your neck region. Pump all the way up as high as you can, do not burst your pump. Turn your head side to side to stretch your neck region. You will feel the neck stretch right underneath your skull. Release the pump and repeat again.
Third step, remove the pump and place an ice pack underneath your neck. Make sure you don't skip this step because it's important after the pump to cool down your nervous system after intensive stretch. Okay, now slowly push the ball away from you as far as you can and drop your body all the way down and relax. As you breathe in and out on this posture, the key is to relax deeply, letting gravity take over. Drop your arms, your shoulder, your chest. Keep breathing. As you exhale, push out more and slowly come back up when you're done. Now roll the ball to the left side of you. Use your left hand to push the ball away from you and reach over with your right hand. Drop your entire weight. Feel the stretch on your right side of your body all the way down to the side of your stomach region. Breathe in and breathe out. Drop your hand towards the ball so you can touch and relax fully. Take deep breath. Take your time. And when you're done, slowly come up. Roll the ball back to the center. Now we'll roll over to the other side. Push the ball away from you again. Drop your entire body weight to the right side. Reach your left hand over. Breathe. Drop your left hand down a little bit more. Touch the ball. And breathe more. Take your time. Breathe deeply and exhale all the way. Now slowly come up and bring the ball back to the center again. Sit about a ball distance away from the wall. Roll the ball behind you, lean back onto the ball, and you're ready for this routine. Now bring both hands over and behind your head. Relax your body onto the ball. Drop your back and your upper back and shoulder, and breathe deeply. Exhale fully. If you're flexible, you can try to reach for the wall or just let it rest. Breathe in deeply and exhale fully. Let gravity take its course. And slowly come back. Now slowly walk forward and roll your body down onto the ball. Make sure you're fully relaxed onto the ball with your head and your buttock all dropped with gravity onto the ball. Extend your hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Fully relax, let the gravity drop itself with your weight onto the ball. Exhale as you push yourself up a little bit. And inhale, slowly come back and rest your knee down onto the floor. With your right knee down, drop your right side of the body onto the ball. Reach your left hand over and breathe. Once again, relax your entire body weight onto the ball and let gravity take its course as you breathe in. Breathe out, reach more and push your body over and across on top of the ball. The more you push, the more you'll feel your rib cage being pulled. Breathe in deeply and exhale fully. Slowly come back and we'll switch side. To change side, face the ball, now turn and drop your left knee down, left body onto the ball. Reach your right hand over and relax your entire way onto the ball. Reach over a little bit more. As you exhale, push a little bit more, push your body over and across the ball. As you breathe more, on your exhalation, you can push yourself over and on top of the ball a little bit more, reaching across the ball. 
as you relax your entire body onto the ball with gravity. Slowly come back and bring your arm back with knee down and turn towards the ball. Now we're going to flex and push the ball forward. Drop your body, arms first, and then slowly your shoulder. Breathe in and then breathe out. As you feel your body relax more, go ahead and push over a little bit more. And if you can, some of you can drop your buttock or your stomach. You'll feel the stretch. And even some of you could even drop more and kneel down more. And you'll feel a different part of you being stretched. Slowly come up as you finish the routine. Place your right hand on the right side of the chair. Reach your left hand up and across your body to the right side. Relax your entire body by bending to the right as far as you can. Bring your right arm over to the top of your right knee. Keep breathing. It is important that you let your body drop as it please and never stop breathing. Take your time. Now slowly come back to the center. Now do the same thing to the other side. Hold your left hand onto the side of the chair. Reach up and across with your right hand. Lean over to the left. Bring your right arm on top of your knee to hold on to your weight. Breathing deeply, exhale fully. Let your body drop naturally a little bit more. Reach across a little bit more. Good. Now slowly come back to the center. Now we're going to rotate to the right by reaching across your right hand to the back of the chair and using your left hand to hold on to the bottom of the chair. When you can, turn a little bit more by reaching across more towards the back. I want you to breathe in deeply and exhale all the way. For the advanced people, you can cross your leg to get the extra turn and rotation of your spine. Always breathe. Now come back to the center. Now do the same thing to the other side. Reach across the left hand all the way, turn to the back and hold on to the top of the chair. You can reach a little bit more and make sure you're holding the bottom of the chair too. Now cross your leg a little bit for the advanced people who want to get a little bit more stretch from your buttock to your lower back, also the upper back. Slowly come back to the center. Now lean forward. Relax your entire body, hold on to your leg, slide out and down. Completely relax your head, relax your arms, laying all the way down as far as you can. If you're not as flexible, just stay where you're at. Slowly but surely, let gravity take its course. Then slowly bring your body up come back to a regular position. Go ahead and sit to the middle of the chair. Give yourself space, lean back, so your back and your neck is rested on the chair. Extend your hand over your head and let it relax over your head. Let it drop. Now bring your hand under and behind your head to get an extra stretch on your pack muscles by opening your elbows a little bit more wider. Breathe in and breathe out. Arch your back a little bit to feel that abdominal stretch. Good, slowly and bring your hand down and come back to the center.
Cross your right leg over and bring your left knee towards you. Hold on to the top of the left knee or underneath if you're not as flexible. Keys to feel the stretch on your right buttock. When you want to stretch more, go ahead and straighten your left leg up to the air. You can keep it straight if you're not as flexible or pull it towards you and breathe in and out deeper and deeper. To get more, pull a little bit harder so you can feel the stretch from the buttock all the way to the lower back as you lift your butt away from the ground. Then slowly release your leg, lower it back to the ground. Now cross your left leg over, right knee up towards your chest. Hold on to your right knee, either to the front top or underneath. Breathe in and breathe out. If you want to stretch a little bit more, go ahead and extend your leg up into the air. Pull behind your knee to still hold the position to feel your left buttock stretch. Pull it towards you more if you're flexible. Keep breathing. And you can lift a little bit more to feel the buttock and a little bit towards your lower back region. And relax back to the floor. Cross your right leg, drop your lower body towards the left so your left knee touches the floor as well as your right foot touches the floor. Turn your head to the right, relax and breathe. This stretches the right side of your buttock all the way to the lower back and possibly to the mid back. I want you to extend your leg a little bit further out. Breathe in and out each time as you exhale push it out a little bit more. If you're not as flexible, you won't be able to reach out as far. So just keep where you're at. And when you're done, bring it slowly back to the center. You can now switch side, cross your left leg, drop your right knee down, have your left foot touch the floor. Turn your head towards the left, breathe in and out. Stretch your left foot out a little bit more. Turn your hip towards the right a little bit more. Every time you breathe in, as you breathe out, stretch a little bit more and extend your leg a little bit more. If you're not as flexible, just stay where you're at and push accordingly. And return to the center. For those who are not as flexible, when you turn over, your left leg may never touch the floor. That is okay. As long as you can feel the stretch of your lower back and your right buttock, raise your left leg up towards your chest a little bit to feel an extra stretch. Let your leg drop to the left side as far as you can. Breathe deeply. Bring your left leg up a little bit more. Exhale fully and let the body stretch itself. Now switch leg. Cross your left leg over, drop your right leg down. Your right leg may never touch the floor, but turn your head towards the left slowly. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Drop your leg more by lifting your right leg up and drop the left leg down. Breathe in and breathe out and try one more time lifting your right leg up again towards you to feel that buttock and lower back stretch now return to the center leg apart knees relaxed hands on the thighs. Take two deep breaths. As you breathe out through your mouth, send the energy down the earth to so feel grounded. Now inhale, palms up, make a circle into a prayer position. Exhale as you come down. And inhale, take one arm up and one down. 
hold, exhale, come back to prayer position. Now repeat on the other side. Repeat three times on each arm as you push up and down. Make sure your spine is straight, your neck is relaxed. You're just pressing on your palms. Exhale, come down. Inhale, stretch, open, hold. Exhale, come back to center. When you're down, bend over. Take two deep breaths. Knees slightly bend. And swim your arms in a figure eight pattern as you gradually come up one vertebra at a time. Come to the top, sprinkle the energy front and back of your body. Standing tall, rub your hands together, shake it off. Bring your hands over the ears, breathe in, cross the elbow, breathe out, press open. Inhale, across in front of the chest, exhale, open. Inhale, across the waist, exhale, open. Inhale, cross the knees, exhale, open. Inhale, cross the ankles, exhale, open. And roll your arms toward you as if you're fluffing the aura all around you, all the way to the top, and then sprinkle the energy front and back of your body. Place the middle finger of one hand between the eyebrows. Place the middle finger of the other hand in the navel. Gently press each finger into the skin as you pull upwards. Hold for 30 seconds or longer if you like. Remember to breathe. Breathe in with the nose and out with your mouth. Relax into the breathing as your energy hook up. You can do this exercise standing, sitting, or laying down. Let's trace two major energy pathways in our body. The central meridian from the pubic bone, the front of the body, to the lower lip. Trace it three times, lock it up. At the back, the governing meridian from the tailbone up the spine over the head to the upper lip. Trace it three times deliberately and lock it up. This is an excellent exercise to end any routine. 